Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to the vlogs. Today is Monday, so I wanted to start another week in my life vlog and bring you guys along with me for another week, but it is like already 12, is it 12? Yeah, almost 12 noon on Monday, I guess kind of morning-ish, but lots of things to do today and this week. We have a busy week. Hudson gets his immunizations this week, which I don't know. I feel like after everything he's been through, probably won't be as big of a deal, but it's always just hard to hear him like cry as he's crying right now in the background because he is fighting his naps. We're definitely having a very clingy stage at the moment and clingy only to mom. And I don't know, he's not enjoying Damon at the moment or he just won't like calm down for Damon. And it's been me, which has been really hard and draining. So that's why I didn't vlog last week. It's just sometimes I feel like I just don't have time to pick up the camera and vlog with all that stuff going on. But I'm going to try and take you along for another week right now. But I need to film a giant Lululemon haul. Literally, this bag is like full of all of these items and my shoes because A, I want to wear most of this stuff and I like to keep it new for the haul. And B, I want to return a couple things. So I need to do that this week. So I want to be able to film that and get that up for you guys, especially because all the items are still new. And then someone's coming to pick up this Define jacket from Facebook Marketplace that I'm selling it on. Also posted it on Vinted, but Facebook beat them to it. So trying to clean out my closet of all the Lululemon things that I don't wear. I definitely regret buying these cropped Define jackets. I don't know, I just, I like the Define jackets, but I think I like the regular length ones. I just never got into this, like Nulu cropped ones. So I don't know. Anyways, selling that. And I also made orders or made a sale on Vinted for a couple other things i need to drop this package off and then i have some donation clothes as well so the house is like really chaotic and messy but i did want to show you my fabfitfun winter box that that came in so let's do that okay so here's the fabfitfun winter 2023 box if you don't know what fabfitfun is it's basically like a subscription that you get four boxes per year so like one per season and it has like different themed items you can pick from like fashion beauty home wellness fitness etc so there's tons of things to choose from you get to customize and curate your own box each season which i love so i'm working with fabfitfun again so they sent me this winter box and i'm super excited to share everything i got in here with you another thing i really love is that everything in here is like full size there's not like trial sizes or anything everything is like a full size product which is absolutely great which also makes it a great value because the things in here can retail for over like 300 dollars and you can get your first one for 47.99 if you use the link down below and the code Gabby Lemoyne. So that is also super fun and fantastic. And they're also running some Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales that you need to be a member for. So if you want to get a hold of that and shop some great deals from major brands, then be sure to sign up. But let's dive into this box right here. So the first thing in here is actually a little hand cream. And if you guys know, it gets super dry here where I live. So of course I have to go with a little hand cream because I'll keep this probably in like the diaper bag, just like on the go, sanitize, and then have some hand cream. This smells like super nice and luxurious. So always got to keep moisturized in the winter time. The next thing, again, full size Olaplex number no. nine. This is the bond protector, hair nourishing, hair nourishing what is this nourishing hair serum so i've never actually tried that many olaplex products but i've heard great things about them so i wanted to give this a try and because i obviously dye and style my hair i feel like this would be really important to kind of keep it healthy and shiny and then the next thing i got is a retinol from verse this is their press start gentle retinol serum i love using retinols as like a gentle exfoliant for my skin and i really loved the brand verse i've had several different products from them and i've all honestly loved them all so i have not tried the retinol serum before so i wanted to go ahead and try that the next thing I'm super excited for too is the Grande Lash Serum. I've heard great, great things about this one. And like I said, these are all full size products. So I know this one is very expensive and the fact that it comes in this box, I feel like is a good deal. So I'm very excited to try this out. I don't have very long 
lashes so hopefully this works and kind of helps boost them a little bit and the next few things are kind of more clothing slash home related so the first thing is this cute little kitchen apron i absolutely love this i think it's so festive for the little holidays and it even has like the little pocket in the front here as well so demon has an apron i don't have an apron so if we're ever in the kitchen cooking together i feel like it's hard because i don't know i don't want to be anywhere near like splattering food or greasy food so that i don't ruin my clothes but now we both can have a little apron to wear in the kitchen and the last thing is another cozy item and it is this like plush soft velour robe this is so so cute and it just feels so soft and i can't wait to wear this after like a warm shower and just get all cozied up and i don't actually have a robe anymore so i feel like this is perfect but that is everything in this fab fit fun box so like i said there's a link down below for you guys in case you want to sign up and get your own box just like this or you can curate your own of course with different things that might suit your needs better but thanks so much to FabFitFun for sending me another box highly recommend checking them out good morning you guys happy tuesday it turned into a little bit of a chaotic day yesterday so i did not vlog after filming the FabFitFun box but basically we went to a birthday party for a dog um demon's family's dog so um we are a little bit rushed to get there feeding him changing him he literally pooped twice before we had to go so i changed him twice and make sure that he was fed and he was being a little bit fussy yesterday so did not end up finishing yesterday's vlog but we are back today it is new release tuesday at lululemon and they're dropping a new collection called wondermost and it's kind of i guess to compete with skims i would say so more of that like body wear shape wear i guess and like lounge like undergarment pieces type of thing so i'm super excited to see that drop today i'm probably going to get some stuff to try out but we're also going to the mall this morning as always to see what's new in store i have not been in store for a little while so should be lots of new things but drops are usually happening a little bit earlier than normal usually it's like 2 15 eastern standard time but now they're dropping at like 2 maybe even like 1 45 so it kind of makes it a little bit more rushed getting to the mall and back because usually I like to eat in between that so that I'm not like starving by the end of it but we'll see how it goes but we're headed out right now Hello guys, we are obviously back from the mall. It is a lot later on Tuesday and I am just here editing or importing all of my footage for the recently lemon haul that I just filmed yesterday. But we're already going to have to do another Lululemon haul because obviously I went to the mall to return some things and I came out with some other things. So, um, girl math, because I returned some things, I felt like I had more money to spend. No, not really. Um, I actually did want to do a full kind of review on the new Wondermost collection that just dropped today at Lululemon. So I picked up almost every single piece from that um, collection that they had in store. The only thing I left that I didn't get was the crop shirt. And I'm kind of glad because there's more colors online that I'm gonna order so that I have like all the pieces from the collection just to do a review. But disclaimer, I'm probably not gonna keep all of them. It, is quite expensive and some of them are just like not my style slash I'm probably wouldn't wear enough to get like good use out of them but to give you a little sneak preview the best thing in the line so far for me is the triangle bralette I've been looking for like a bralette or something to kind of I don't know interchange with my nursing bras because for the most part I'm still wearing those and they're just not really cute they kind of don't really go under a lot of shirts and especially at night i'm just like so tired of wearing a bra i 
normally would not I would just wear like a shirt and my like pajama shorts obviously like you know kind of pajama but um, I think these would work really well for at night it's just a little bit more like light support casual and it's super super soft I am obsessed with this material um, it is for Ada D cups but it is very light support as you can tell because there's not much to the straps in the back but I pretty much purchased everything else in the line that they had in store and that's why I got this cute little tote if you spend an absurd amount at the store um, they gave you this limited edition black tote bag it is more like a canvasy thicker material obviously than like their regular shoppers so I feel like this will be a cute tote bag for I don't know just baby things and whatnot but that was our mall trip this morning i would say it was pretty successful but i just finished filming all of the videos and stuff for tiktok and instagram and youtube shorts of the new releases from Lou Lemon. So on top of the Wondermost collection, I feel like it was a good drop, but I don't know if people really loved it. And we did get a new color. This is called Vintage Lux. It looks very similar to Pomegranate from last year. I don't know what the similarities are actually between the two, uh, but I'd be curious to kind of dive in and find out if that comes out in more items. I'd maybe pick up that color or bring it into store and do a color comparison as well over on TikTok. So be sure to go check that out. We also have vintage rose in our line pants. Also sheer blue in the scuba full zip. So that's, um, I, th I think like most of the highlights from today, honestly, the Wondermost collection was definitely the biggest aspect of today's drop, but I'm going to hopefully try and speed edit this Lululemon haul so that I can like order the other stuff and film this haul and review and stuff so that I don't go over the 30 days if I want to return something. But that's pretty much the plan for the rest of the day is to get as much work done as possible. So we'll see if we get up to anything else and I'll keep you updated. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the vlog. I took a wee break yesterday from vlogging because it was our little vaccine day for Hudson and I. So... I don't know we didn't really do much other than that yesterday just took it pretty easy and i think today is going to be another very chill day but this is my first day by myself with the baby uh damon is currently changing tires on both of our cars i would normally help and do that um but obviously we have a little one that cannot be independent damon has to go over to his parents house because we don't have a driveway but they're not home so they're not like available to look after him right now so that's okay i am here by myself we are watching tv right now taking a very chill morning he is not feeling the best he is not his usual happy self as you know as i figured he would be after his vaccines but honestly he did really well with the actual shot part i feel like since we've been like in the hospital and he's had like so many other blood tests and pricks and pokes and everything else that this was like not the worst thing on the scale of you know what he's been through so he actually did really well with the shots but he's not feeling great now so he's been super fussy and just like sad it's so sad we all did good i think with with him getting shots it's just like the after recovery part so hopefully it passes in the next couple of days here and he gets better and kind of back to his usual self but there'll be lots of contact naps and he'll probably live in this little carrier thing for the next few days while he is not feeling good but yeah that is the update this morning got up did markdowns at lululemon i got a couple of things so stay tuned for a haul of course with my lululemon in the background there but i know we have to go grocery shopping at some point today too so hopefully i can vlog that if we have time or i don't even know if we're gonna get to it today with like the tires and stuff i don't know how long that's gonna take doing it by himself hopefully not too long though because he does have like all the tools for it but hopefully we will be able to get to the grocery store i can bring you guys along and yeah that's pretty much what's been going on pretty low-key this week as you know i kind of like blocked everything off for the vaccines, I didn't want it to be super busy and crazy, but it is super nice out today. So maybe we'll try and get out for a walk as well at some point, depending on how we are feeling. Good morning, friends. I am starting this vlog as we are off to Costco this morning to pick up some things. Mostly we just need like milk and stuff, which is actually cheaper at Costco 
but not a lot of stuff is. So I guess we'll see what we find today. Little dude. Uh, anyways, we are getting gas right now. I don't even know what I was saying before. Damon just interrupted me, but anyways, we're going to Costco this morning. Little dude is in the back. Is he sleeping? No, I think he's awake, but um, we're currently getting gas because we're going to actually take a little road trip tomorrow up to Red Deer to watch Damon's cousin play hockey. So yeah, that is the update. I basically failed at vlogging yesterday. I'm so, so sorry. We almost slept all day, which was needed for both Hudson and I. We are exhausted from our little shots, but feeling better today, which is great. But we went to Walmart this morning. I did not vlog that and I did not vlog yesterday. So please forgive me. It is hard to remember to vlog when you have like so much more on your mind with a baby going to the store so sometimes i forget to bring you guys along and vlog but i am trying to remember and be better and get into more of a routine with that so hopefully we will be doing better but let's head off to costco and see what's new do we get another box of diapers or what are we here for i do want to look at the kids clothes real quick because he's almost out of his sleepers. Oh my gosh, these are so cute with the little sushis, campers. Oh, these cactuses are cute. <gasps> Wiener dogs! I also kind of like these avocados with the toast or the bobas, but. Light color pajamas aren't usually the best. We are almost always due for a meltdown in Costco. Where is the milk thing at? Way over here. Dude, do, but yeah, but we just spent like twenty dollars in sodies yesterday. Another do we really toilet. need more? Damon, those better last us like three months. I don't know, I still think that other sweater is pretty cute. This one's pretty cute too. Although, why does everything have to be like dinos at trucks? Or get fleece pajamas. Okay, are we done? Are we? I don't know. <laughs> is it even a Costco trip if you don't get a hot dog for a reward? Even though you're just spending a certain amount. Actually, we did really good. We only spent $40 for all of the stuff. And basically we're getting in and out because it is busy in here. It's like the busiest Costco, I'm pretty sure. 